How about some ways to make houseplants a little more user friendly? I like to use houseplants throughout my house and throughout the year, even during holidays, well, maybe even especially holidays. That's why I love poinsettias and orchids and paper whites and things like that. They're wonderful for the winter. But you know, I also like to use a lot of different kinds of containers. Since they're in every room, each room has its own special style and look. So there are gonna be certain containers that work better than others. Now, two things that are always a problem when bringing houseplants in. Okay, you got a great look at houseplant, you bring it into the house, you're excited about it, but how does it fit comfortably into the space where it needs to go? One of the things that I like to do is make sure that I have a liner for my containers. I collect containers of all kinds, but I never have a liner that's ready made. This box, by chance, just happened to come with a plastic liner, which makes it really easy for using when planting it with houseplants. See, what you want to achieve is you want to make sure that you've got some kind of waterproof liner that can go inside a container. You can be very creative with this. I'll use plastic bags from the store. Um, even these freezer bags are great, whether they're a quart bag or a gallon bag. And you can even take and line your, your containers with aluminum foil. Just make sure you don't pierce it because if you get a leak, it's gonna ruin that great piece of furniture you have. The other thing I like to do is I use these little floor guard plastic uh, saucers. I can place a container on this. It sort of goes away because it's clear and you don't notice it on the table. Now take for instance this pothos. This is an indestructible house plant. I love it. And if you'll notice, it came in a nursery pot like that with its own saucer. You can see the saucer there. And I dropped it into this galvanized bucket. I love using anything as a container. And this works out perfectly. And if you want a house plant that anyone can grow, try pothos. You can see the challenge. If you find an odd container like this, well, this is hardly even a container, but it does support plants if you use one of those liners. And in this case, you'd have to use one of the plastic bags, but it can be very effective. Okay, now let's talk about top dressing containers. So we've looked at the bottom of the container. Now let's look at the top. Look at this gorgeous orchid. I put it in a galvanized bucket as well, but I've top dressed it with sheet moss. What that does is it gives a decorative finish, makes it look more complete, but it also helps retain moisture in the container. And there are lots of different things you can use here. Here I use the moss on the paper whites as well as on this poinsettia. But with this orchid, there's the mulch that it came with. Many of these orchids are grown in bark and the bark is very attractive. So in this case, I don't really have to do any top dressing. And take a look at this Spanish moss. It's a great way to top a container. And just like the sheet moss, it'll help hold in moisture. In fact, what I like to do is pull off as much as I need moisten it and then pack it around the containers. It works really well that way. It can be a little messy, but that's okay. You can clean that up. Hey, if you're enjoying these tips, share them with a friend. And if you have any questions, let me hear from you. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.